called to Three Minute Defense. This is where I'm going to use the analogy of boxing in three minute rounds to help you defend the faith. So, what do I mean by defending the faith? Well, it's about giving a reason for why you believe. It's about sharing those reasons. Now, I grew up in a church that said, God's Word says it, and I believe it, and that settles it for me. Well, no, that really didn't. You actually heard the message, and there was reasoning happening, and then you believed if you came as an adult believer. So apologetics is simply doing that for someone else who has questions. But let's talk about what apologetics is not. It is not winning arguments. It is not defeating their argument and claiming victory. It's not bringing your own personal doctrinal preferences into the discussion. And it's not preaching. It's also not giving your testimony. While that might be a good starting point, you have to get off of that point immediately and onto the scripture. So, how do I do apologetics and what is it? Apologetics is removing the hurdles that they're placing in front of actually believing. So, their hurdles might be, I don't know anything about Jesus. I, didn't, I only know about Christians, but I don't know what they even believe. Others may be that, how do you know there's a God? Or, well, how do you know the Bible is true? It was written by men. How can you be so sure that it's the truth? And others who say that they don't go to church because they're not into that whole organizational religion. So, how many of these have you heard? How many have you come across, and what different types have you come across, that have stopped people from believing? Okay, You have to think of the defense of the faith, apologetics, as a tool in your evangelism tool bag, okay? It could be a plier, which is pulling out wrong ideas they've had about Jesus. Could be a square that is straightening out the angles. It's straightening out what they may have misheard or misunderstood. Could be a hammer, which drives the point of the gospel, which is the point of apologetics. It is bringing them, as Dr. Montgomery says, to the door of salvation. It has removed those hurdles from that they used to not believe, and it is bringing them to that door, the house of salvation, to Jesus Christ himself. And it is saying, here is salvation. It is removing those obstacles so that we may proclaim Jesus died for our sins, Jesus was buried, Jesus rose again for the forgiveness of our sins, which includes you and me. Thank you.